here, boys and girls. It's me, King Fluff. And I made this new book. And it's called A Treasury of Curious George. It was by Margaret and H. A. Ray. Well, let's find out and see. Curious George takes a train. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. This morning, George and the man with the yellow hat were at the train station. They were taking a trip to the country with their friend, Mrs. Needleman. But first, they had to get tickets. Inside the station, everyone was in a hurry. People rushed to buy newspapers to read and treats to eat. Then they rushed to catch their trains. But one little boy with a brand new toy engine was not in a hurry. Nor was the small crow next to him. They were just standing in one spot looking up. George looked up too. A train master was moving numbers and letters on the big sign. Soon the train master was called away, but his job did not look finished. George was curious. Could he help? Then, just like the train master, uh, uh, George climbed up in a flash. Then, just like the train master, he picked a letter off the sign put it in a different place. Next, he took the number 9 and put it near a 2. George moved more letters and more numbers. He was glad to be such a big hill. Hey! yelled the men from below. I can't tell what train leaves. What tracks is my train on? asked another man. What's that monkey doing up there? demanded the woman. She did not sound happy. The train master did not sound happy either. Come down from there right now, he hollered at George. Poor George! It's too easy for a monkey to get into trouble. But lucky for George, it's also easy for a monkey to get out of trouble. Right then, the conductor shouted, All aboard! A crowd of people rushed toward the train. George simply slid down a pole, scurried over the suitcase, and squeezed with the crowd through a gate. Then he found the perfect hiding place for a monkey. The little boy with the toy engine also ran through the gate. Look, Daddy, he said. A train. His father looked up. Come back, son, he yelled. That's not our train. But he was too late. The gate locked behind him. The boy began to cry. George peeked out of his hiding place. He saw the boy's toy roll toward the tracks. The boy ran after it. This time, George knew he could help. He leaned out of hiding place and ran fast. George grabbed the toy engine before the little boy came too close to the tracks. What a close call! When the train master opened the gate, the boy's father ran to his son. The boy was not crying now. He was playing with his new friend. So, there you are, said the train master when he saw George. You should made a lot of trouble on a big board. Please, don't be upset with him, said the boy's father. He saved my son. The people on the platform agreed. They had seen what had happened, and they clapped and cheered. George was a hero. Just then, the man with the yellow hat arrived at Mr. Needleman. It's time to go, George. He said, here comes our train. 
This is our train! The mother said the little boy excited. Can George run with us? He asked. They sounded like a good idea to everyone. So the train master asked the conductor to find him a special seat. And he did, right up front. Well, that's the always. Join us for the next story. Curious George fidgets a toy store. Okay, we'll see you next Sunday.